Hey everyone, Rob from Southgate Media Group here. Before we get started with this podcast, we have a quick message. If this is your first time checking out the show, we love that you found us and we really hope you enjoy it. What we have to say is for the subscribers, if you enjoy our shows, would you please donate to help keep these going? We don't want to have to put traditional ads on these shows, but this does cost money. So we really do rely heavily on donations. To make a donation to the show, please go to our website, www.southgatemediagroup.com. Go to the page for the show, and in the upper right-hand corner is a donate button. It takes you right to PayPal, and you can donate whatever amount you want. Thanks a lot for listening, everybody. And now, on with the show. Snow Queen attempts to pit Anna and Elsa against each other. With her powers out of control, Emma seeks assistance from Gold. Meanwhile, Regina's quest takes a surprising turn. I'm your host, Miles Southgate. With me is Martha Southgate and Rob Southgate. All right, so this smash is the mirror. <sighs> this was a two-parter. Yes. Yeah, this is part one. Part We're gonna one. just do part one. First. So when you listen to the next episode, it's the same description. Yeah. Do we have to? Don't do this? get confused. Do we have to do the description? <laughs> no, because we're just say part two. Part two. Part two. If you'd like to hear the description, please listen to part one. <laughs> please refer back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Meanwhile, face uh, Facebook. 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 Meanwhile, I wrote FB and it's <laughs> flashback, not Facebook. Yeah. Yep. Flashback Friday. <laughs> Except it's Sunday. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Never what are we mind. doing? Okay, can we talk okay. about this episode? Flashback, Arendelle. Flashback, Arendelle. I'm setting the scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Ingrid riding P- her horse. Paint us a picture, would you, Martha? She's riding her horse. Uh-huh. And she buries that box. Yeah. Yes. The, the wizard's sorcerer's hat. hat. There you go. Yeah, it's the wizard's hat. And she has the, the dagger and she goes the over of it. And, no, did she use the dagger? No, he used the you dagger. You made that up. Well, that was in the flashback before they showed him using that the dagger. That was a flashback of the flashback. Right. But she just that buries the box and then she freezes it with her ice powers. And puts it in the dirt. Yes. yes. In a cave, under rocks, mm-hmm. in Arendelle. Yes. Then she goes to the Enchanted Forest yes. to find Rumple, And she wants, what does she say she wants from Rumpelstiltskin in, in exchange for the sorcerer's hat? It's not Rumpelstiltskin. The guy that is in that is in between her and Rumpelstiltskin, and she says, "Right, it's oh, no, yeah. you know, no, it's I not Rumpelstiltskin. Hat. It's the sorcerer." Yeah, she's not talking about Rumpelstiltskin. She's talking to the sorcerer's apprentice, who later on we see turns into a mouse because he's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. But that's the sorcerer's apprentice, and it's the sorcerer whose hat she has. Oh yeah, it's simple semantics. Yeah, no, it's not because <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin's not involved in that. Okay, so at all. she wants what? She wants a, a a third sister. Who's her second sister? Elsa. And so she needs somebody else. Mm-hmm. Right, to make it a, a trio. Because they're going to go on the road as the mm-hmm. three tenors. What are even the three tenors? <laughs> this is a very wrong podcast. Yes, it is. So, I okay, I don't get... I'm confused by this mm-hmm. thing. Because when we were watching it, and then you went, Oh, that's why Emma's blonde. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get because it. Because... The three of our blondes. But blondies. now they're sisters. They look like sisters. But blondies. Anna and Elsa don't. They're not oh, no. sisters. That's her niece. Sisters. And that's a girl. Sisters. That's a girl. Who... Never such Let's magic sister. <laughs> that's a girl who's not even related to them. So what? What? Although we'll find out. This is once upon a time. So we'll find out that it's like, oh, I'm she's your Snow fifth White. cousin yeah, twice. Right. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. The bottom line is she's looking for for. Three blonde chicks. That sounds like a nursery rhyme also. Three, Three blonde, blonde chicks. Three blonde chicks who all have magic. Yes. But that can form a sisterhood. I think I had a dream like this one time. Ew. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Ingrid told Elsa yeah. that Anna hid the fact that she was going to take away Elsa's power. Okay. And Ingrid has her locked in a dungeon. Yeah. Well, yeah. we saw that last time that when she did that, 
And uh, yeah, and we but find I didn't think out she was going to tell her. Well, no, and that, and we also find out that um, she tells her that Elsa's mother is the one who put her in the mm-hmm. urn. Yes. Yeah, she lets it. She spills the beans. Yes, out of the urn. She told her in earnest. Oh. Ah! Yep. She earned the right to know the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too many bad puns. Yep. <laughs> I have to beat my head against the wall. Too many bad okay. puns. So, while you're beating your head against the wall. Well, no, I'm not. Anna's going downstairs to the dungeon to find Elsa. You yep. see how I did that nice little Oh, that was a great friend. Tra- Anna's transition. going downstairs to find Elsa. Whoever, whatever. <laughs> Elsa. Elsa's going down to find Anna. And Anna. she yeah. pretends. And she pre- also pretends to be mean to Anna, yeah, like, so the guards would believe that I she got sided with in. Ingrid. I yeah. believed she was being mean. I thought she was mad at her, but totally, totally playing it. Mm-hmm. So that was good. I, I was so crushed. Why? It's, because she, you thought I'm she was quoting, being mean. I'm quoting Anna. Oh. Those guards, like with their beards, look like they might be roadies from White Snake. They don't look like like most people on here look like. They're, they're from accurate. that time period. But these guys, like, they had these, like, kind of weird beards. So I like, did you guys just step out of the 80s? Yeah. And you were roadies for some metal band? Striper, Maybe they worked for White Medieval Snake. Times in the 80s. Oh, would ye like a Coke? <laughs> would, would ye like some heavy metal? Would ye like some Striper? Uh, the twins. So they need the urn. She breaks Anna out of jail. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they need to find the urn in the castle in order to defeat mm-hmm. Ingrid. Yeah. So Kristoff. Anna and Elsa go searching the castle. Yep. And what do they find? Well, they go to that section that the, that Anna was told, oh, it's crumbling, don't go in there. That looked fine to me. Well, that's because she was lying. Right, they sealed it off because that's where Ingrid and this, the mom and the sister all grew up. It's that That's area. where they, pl- that's their bed room. Yep. Because you see the big And bed. it's like, do you want to hide a secret? That's where it do was. Do you want to put me in a urn? <laughs> <laughs> You have to earn it first. Oh. All right. So they go into this thing and. What thing? In this, this room? room. Okay. And what does Anna find? What does Anna find? In the armoire. <laughs> she finds Hans frozen and she's like, uh-huh. ah! That she was takes out a candlestick. Did she lick him? Because that's a Hansicle. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. I wouldn't, I would not want that. Yes. Yeah. This, this tastes like lint and sweat. Gross. Why would it taste like lint and Because it's a I mean, guy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Here, lick my arm. See this no. face? Yep. Sweat. Uh, and they find the urn. Hair. Yep. Hair would be all And the over. urn is in there with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can tell Elsa She didn't is... do a very good hiding job. No. Yeah. Elsa is definitely having turmoil because she's looking in the mirror. The mirror's cracked. And she's like, I wonder what happened here. Like, Ingrid got into her head. Yeah. And Anna doesn't seem to care at all. I mean, Anna's not even thinking about this. She's just like, oh, we're sisters. This would never happen to us. We're awesome. And we need to get and the urn. Did you and notice? She's saying this, and they're looking in the cracked mirror. And in one crack, you see Anna. And one the other crack, you see Elsa. Uh-huh. Divided. So, yeah. Uh-huh. So, Anna and Elsa hide I didn't hide know that from... you guys catch that. I thought... We catch a lot yeah, of things, because you know, we're, we're brilliant. We're not really perceptive, uh-huh. and uh, we haven't been around the block and seen these kind of We're kind before. of like geniuses, Mom. You are kind what? of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. we're on, somewhere on the genius spectrum. We're on some kind of spectrum, that's for so sure. So, Anna and Elsa like hide... Like the special needs mom and dad spectrum. Hide oh. from the guards. I'm ignoring you both. <laughs> so, Anna and Elsa... Hide from the guards, and that ends that part of the story in this first episode. Right. So we're just hanging. We we're don't just, yeah, know what they're going to do with that, this urn. Any more of that in the past or in Arendelle. Okay. Now it goes to story. Now we're with Emma. Yeah. Yes. Sleeping in the woods in her car. Yeah. And it was hysterical when she's riding towards the mission. Mm-hmm. And she, the flash of electricity. Oh, her like hands were, top. yeah, her hands no, were no, shocking no, no. in that part. No, on top of the car. It was like electricity. It looked like, like Back sh- to the Future. Oh, oh, I didn't catch that. It but, looked like, like the DeLorean? No. Wow, it's with electricity. Did she, was she going 88 miles per hour? No. Marty! I'm not sure her car could go 88. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so tiny. So Emma woke up in her car in the woods, and her magic's just totally out of control. And Henry finds her, because they've all been looking for her for a while. Henry finds her, and she hurts him. She hurts him. On accident. 
I don't care if she hurts him. She hurts him. She feels terrible. No, about she doesn't. She yes. wants she's to cruel. do it over and over and no, over. No, she doesn't. No, that's you. <laughs> that's you. That's you today. Maniacal. <laughs> Maniacal. <laughs> So, but yeah, she accidentally hurts him, yeah, and she yeah. feels terrible. And he's like, "No, no, it's okay." But he's yeah. bleeding twice. Yeah, yeah. She try. He tries to come back to her, and he's like, "It's okay, it's okay." And then everything's shooting out of her. Well, she doesn't hurt him the second time. The first know, time he she, goes flying back, she the second time him. it's like shooting out of her, and it's like going past. She's like, "Get out of here!" So he runs. He runned off. He runned off, like yes. in uh, Big Brother, where out thou? No, it's not Big Brother. <laughs> oh, brother! Big Brother, where out thou? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy kept saying, she run off. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, never mind. We're like geniuses. We're we're on the spectrum of genius. Of something. Yeah, right. We're on the spectrum it's of crazy. It's a bell curve. Crazy. We're at one end of that bell curve. But Bell? Oh, it's a bell curve. <laughs> that was a little less fun time reference. Thank you. We're on can the we, spectrum. Because the we're show? kind of doing the, a podcast about it. Okay. Right. So Ingrid came uh-huh. as Emma was freaking out mm-hmm. and driving away and electrifying everything yep. and ingrid stood in front of her car yep she's got the timing uh-huh. we should explain about the mansion why do these people know what well, do we know what do we do tell me about the mansion tell us about it. don't do tell me about it. you have the notes well if you're you <laughs> yeah don't you don't notes. start it off and oh, then yeah. not tell us you don't need yeah. my notes we'll get to the mansion okay. so go ahead okay so Emma goes to Mr. Gold. Wrong. Gold. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Emma goes to Mr. Gold. Yes. And But he's not there, so she hides. This right. was in the other episode. What? This was in the last episode, not this episode. No, it, no she no, was uh-huh. at Mr. Gold's, and then you saw the stuff like... Oh, that's right here. Bubbling and Yeah, we haven't and... gotten there yet. Okay. No, because But I said mansion, so... Well, okay, so what... <laughs> I'm so confused. Where are we at? Can we talk about you her being at Mr. There. Gold's? Well, yeah. okay, so she's at Mr. Gold's and everything's going nuts. And he walks in like the and he's like, light look. Bulbs around. Yeah, he's like, you're, you're not really hiding, Emma. I know you're here. It's so obvious. And he can take her magic way and make her ordinary. Yes. And, but she will not ever be able to get it back. Right. No and way. Don't do it, Emma. We also know from the other episode that this is all part of a master plan yes. on his part. To steal her magic so right. that he could have the last thing he needs to have all the power in the whole right. world. Right. So they're so going to go to the Gold mansion. Mr. Gold is not being a good guy. Uh-huh. So they're going to go to the mansion where Belle and Rumple had their little honeymoon. Yep, and yeah. They did their dance. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Oh, I was wondering what the mansion is. So that's <laughs> Wait, are you, you kidding me? Mansion. You're the one who was the, saying that there was a big deal. For oh, those. that's the mansion. I didn't know what the mansion was. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about Robin and Regina for a moment. Okay. Smoochie, boochie. Hot and heavy. Yep. Uh-huh. So she tells him about her need to find the author of the book. And she said she can't have a happy ending until she finds the author. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, of course, he's going to help her. Well, yeah, and she says, we can't have our happy ending. And Mm -hmm. he's like, then I've got to deal with this. And he deals with it by going to the diner and hanging out a little bit with Will Scarlet. (laughs) Which is the first guy I think of. But that was great. Will Scarlet's sitting there pouring his uh his flask and into his like, cup. And you're like, okay, that's a little bit then more, And then he pours more. 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 It was almost more. the whole teacup was yeah. full of alcohol at that point. <laughs> like, I think it was coffee. Uh, see, I think it was just water. I think that he's a teetotaling guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's not true. So, yeah, he says, that's yeah. my, my lunch and dinner. And Robin was like, look, I need you sober as fire, Friar Tuck on Sunday. And yeah. Will Scarlet goes, I don't think Sunday really matters uh-huh. <laughs> to Friar Tuck. That was funny. Good stuff. Good uh, stuff. Guess what? what? It's Sunday. It is today. I bet this yes. matters to Friar Tuck. That's right. In in Mollybrook it is. What? That's where we are, Mollybrook. So Snow, David, Elsa, okay. and Hook have given up the this search. This sounds like the beginning of a joke. They walk into a bar and there's a duck on his head. They, they've given up the search for a little while and they're back at their apartment. Yep. And Henry comes in with his injury. Yep. And tells them that he found her. And um, Elsa is his nurse. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. And then later, guess yeah. what? So what? Do, do tell. Regina says to Henry, not that I don't trust the ice mask, ice, ice. doctor's methods. Right. Because <laughs> she wants to look at his wound. Yeah. And, and she, she heals him. That's yeah. awesome. What a power. 
Why didn't she do it a long time ago? They sat there reading and doing all this stuff for that long. Well, she didn't see it. It wasn't until he went like that, and then she saw how bad it was. It, like, yeah, and she's like, "Does like, that hurt?" And he's like, "Yeah." yeah and then like she if it was it. just a little. She hadn't seen that before. Either that, or she was like, "Good," and he deserves it. Yeah, if she Rotten was, kid. if she that, was, yeah, in... like if it was just a bruise. No. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't want to heal that. I would. Why wouldn't you want to heal a bruise? What if you get a blood? Listen, cost? Nurse Molly. If I have a bruise mm. and you've got magic, you best be used. Sorry. Sorry. So Re- I'm just using it. Regina had brought cupcakes. them a locator potion. Yeah. Yes. And <gasps> Oh, she had her shirt like on a button. Uh, yeah. And yep. Snow says, um, you might want to button your shirt. Yep. Because she was with Robbie Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't not, with her. No, no, no. Robbie Hood. Robbie Hood. That's Emma calls. That's who you're being for Halloween, Robbie Hood. Robbie Hood? <laughs> your name's Rob. Well, I wouldn't have to shave. I like that idea. So Emma called and tells them that she's going to give up her magic. She's mm-hmm. found a way to get rid of her magic yes. forever. And um, Hook wants to go after her. He he says, I left my talking phone in the car. <laughs> it, uh, and it's just called David, phone. David, yeah, David says, it's just called a phone. And he goes, well, that simplifies it or something, you know, or something like that. Right. So he, he leaves, but th- that was a ruse. He was not. Right. He well, didn't, he wanted to get, he wanted privacy. He had to get out of there. And he's trying to call Emma to stop her. To, yeah, to let her know, her don't do this. This is his plan. I love that, that the plan is there, like that there's this going on because, and I also love that Hook calls him and says, or calls her and says everything because yeah. he knows now if I do this, like he's sacrificing everything to save her as opposed to save their relationship. Yeah. Like if he had kept his mouth shut, he could still be like, well, maybe I could try to figure this out. No, he knows this is a really bad situation and mm-hmm. I'm probably going to lose everything, yep. Yeah. but I need to save you. Because she can't lose her marriage. Yeah. So, and, and it goes back to while we were watching that scene, I was thinking about what's going on with Regina, mm-hmm. how the bad guys get written to have the bad ending. And I thought, he's been a bad guy. He's right. getting written the bad ending. He's put in this bad position. I hope that if she solves this, it can maybe give him a new end. So, Rumpel. Well, no, he wasn't really a bad guy. Mm-hmm. He wasn't that much. He was bad. in the book. Oh, yeah. Captain Hook was portrayed as a bad guy. You're telling us Captain Hook was not a bad guy. He wasn't. Peter a... Pan is a bad guy in this, and Captain Hook was the good guy. But in the story, what was written, it's, it's the flipped. reverse. Oh. Yeah. So Rumpel came to see Ingrid. So in that big book, it didn't have Peter Pan as the bad guy. Right. Oh, it does oh. now because they keep rewriting it. Right. Did, is it? Would it change? It was changing it changed. all the way through the series. Every time they did something, the book would change. Did it really? I don't remember that. No, it didn't. Only when Emma and Hook traveled back in time. Yeah, that changed. That changed it. Seems like things changed. <laughs> yeah, I think you're making it up. Seems like things changed. Let's put Mom so, back in the urn and she can, can read I up on it. Can I just talk about out. Rumpel and Ingrid? Yes. Mm-hmm. So Rumpel came to see Ingrid. and She'll he, have to earn it. <laughs> he told her about Emma. And then he put Ingrid in a trap. Yes. And it will only last long enough for him to take Emma's power away. So yes. he's got to hurry. And he said, I have to betray two people, you right. and Emma. Yeah. Oh, don't portray, betray Emma. Uh-huh. Or portray her. He's doing a Broadway show. Rumble Silt's going to ask Emma Swan. So Elsa. <laughs> no one laughs. Elsa <laughs> overhears <laughs> Snow and David discussing Emma. Yeah. And and they said, well, maybe her best chance is to to, to actually get rid of her magic. Right. And so we need to support her in this. Well, Elsa hears that, and she doesn't want her yeah. to lose Guess her magic. Guess what you would be doing? <gasps> no! I'd want you to keep your magic. You'd right. be bawling to death? Why? Why? <laughs> not to death. <laughs> Why? Elsa's going to go use the locator spell to find Emma so that she can save her. Right. And so she sneaks out of the apartment. And uh, Robin and Will, oh my gosh, when they were breaking into the library. That was so funny. And Will Scarlet's sitting there like, oh, well, this is this type of lock. And he's doing his thing. And Robin just pushes the door open. Yeah, they're open till 10. Yeah. That was hilarious. Must be kind or something like that. (laughs) That was really good. That was very funny when the door was already, it's like, walks right in. Yep. Yeah. Just look at their open hours right there. Yep. Yep. So, um. Do you think Maleficent is still down in the basement? I mean, didn't she kill Maleficent, right? Yeah. But her evil spirit's still there. Yeah. Remember that? <sighs> well, they won't go down there. They probably don't know what's even there. I mean, why would you go to a library and just go in the elevator randomly? Because that's really what they'd have to do. Unless yeah. it's like, is this the bathroom? Could be. 
Ain't no bathroom in the Alamo. Oh, that's the basement. <laughs> what the? Uh, Hook is... Hook is at Rumpel's. You are right over there. No. <laughs> Hook is at Rumpel's shop. Okay. And he saw Emma's handprint. Yes. Yeah, and he was like Swan. And uh, Hook called and tried to warn Emma, and he tells her everything, and in, in, including that yeah, Bell knows that no, that Bell has been tricked right. by Rumpel. And I, the whole time, I would thought Bell was going to be. Yeah, here yeah. And, not that Bell knows, but what like, is going on with like Bell? right behind? I would have loved that. Yeah. And then he, <gasps> Yeah, but we love Rump. We don't want yeah. him. We want him to work out this issue before oh everything yes. goes bad. We want him to work out his sociopathology. Yes. Yeah. Well, because it's, it's going to ruin Bell's life and his life, and like as were... opposed to just everything else that he's ruined. <laughs> True. Yeah, I th- I, could, I can see your point, Rob. <laughs> oh yes, I can totally. He's see an it. antihero. Is he? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's a hero. Okay, it's I'm like when you watch Breaking Bad that, and you're rooting for Walter White, but he's really being a bad guy. Yes. See. Um. See. So. Hello. And then he saw on the map where Emma is, so off he goes uh-huh. to the yeah. mansion. Yep. And Emma is driving, and that's when she almost hit Ingrid. Yes. Yeah. And she and crashed her car, and we don't know what happens. And then yeah. cut scene. So we stopped it here. We have uh-huh. no idea what's, what happens, so we're going to... Yeah. We need to go now. Right, right. Yep. So Bye, everybody. For, for, <laughs> for the people that, that are listening to this later, they may not realize, but they showed this as a two-hour show, as both parts shown on one night as one episode. But in reality, I'm sure they're going to split it because they showed the logo and everything. This is where it will end when you're watching it later. So that's why we're splitting the podcast into two parts. So you can follow along the way it will be in the future. Like on Netflix, that's how yes. you'll see it. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, so exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. I'll do the, the close out here. Uh, you can follow us at our website, which is www.softgatemagroup.com. Yes, and you can find all of our past episodes there. You can find uh, the donate button that we talked about at the top of the show. You can find our sponsors there and all of our other podcasts, which there are many of. And uh, you can listen to them all there. And I think you can even, there's an area in there where you can download them too. So uh, lots of options for you. And also you can sign up for our email list where we talk about upcoming shows, special things that are going on, contests, and live events that we've started doing. So definitely sign up for that email list. Let's see, what else do we want to say? Oh, you can send us an email if you want, either through that or directly at southgatemediagroup at gmail.com. That's it. Let's end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Happily ever after. The The end. end!